Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and hey to any newbies and welcome back you regular viewers. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. Today I've got a first impressions of the Kiko Milano um, mascaras. So I thought I'd do a little review of these mascaras that come in lots of different colours as I know there's such a trend in the makeup um, scene at the moment for different coloured mascaras and normally I only ever use black and brown so I thought I'd go out and buy quite a few different colours that are a little bit more unusual and sort of see how they look in the eye and also give um, the Kiko brand a chance and see what it's like. Um, so if you want to see this review and the different looks uh, just keep on watching and I will be also doing the eye look, uh, because I've only got the mascaras from Kiko, I will be doing the actual eye look with the Subculture palette because um, any of you who've watched my review of this and first impressions, I kind of wanted to do not like a full series but a mini series on like trying some of the other colours to create looks as well. So I'm testing out I think four different colours of mascara so I'll create four different eye looks um, so that if any of you want to give it a go you can and yeah. I'll get started with the review. Do uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll get started. So for any of you regular viewers, you will see that I have my long hair back. And by my long hair, I mean I've had extensions put in. I just had them done today. So this is what they're looking like. I actually went for a little bit shorter than before, so they're only 16 inches and instead of 18. And I got the little tape ones um, instead of individual bonds because I was like, oh, let's try this different style and I did three quarter head so that it's full but like not too thick because naturally I don't have that much hair um, but yeah if any of you regulars uh, that's why my hair is looking a bit different it hasn't suddenly grown unfortunately it is um, just extensions um, so for um, anyone who wants to know what I've done for the base I've actually used the Rimmel uh, match perfection uh, foundation um, so I'll link below how to create this base um, as I've got a video on that um, if any of you want to use that Rimmel foundation to create this base. Um, for eyes so like I said I'm going to go in with the subculture palette done a review we'll link that below um, but just want to be able to test out and see how versatile um, this palette is because um, I know that there's been a lot of talk around the palette and I'm sure quite a few you might have this palette or might consider buying it depending on what you think. Uh, so I thought I'd create a look um, on the base. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 brush and <clears throat> sorry guys if my voice is sounding a little bit different I've had this like um, little like cough which is super pathetic but it <clears throat> sometimes has been making me like cough or need to drink water a little bit more than normal so it is not a proper cold it's just this random little like cough thing which is not cool hopefully I'll go away soon <laughs> um, yeah so with my Morphe brush I'm gonna go in with the sheer Dawn and I'm gonna put this in the crease and I have already put concealer on my eyelids and set it with powder just in case any of you are wondering so guys I'm just gonna stop with the eye uh, shadows for a moment and take you through the colors that I bought from Kiko so these are the smart color mascaras and they were 590 I picked up shade 1, shade 2, shade 3 and shade 5. So I'll just show you what they look like uh, before I create an eye look. Um, so shade 1 is this purple colour, um, shade 2, I did go into the shop and that was actually the first time I went into the shop and then these sort of spoke to me. Shade 2 which is very cool is this like blue shade and shade 3, oh, I forgot which one this colour is, oh yep the nice jade colour again very cool and number five yeah probably bought these like two weeks ago now is this like wine colour this lovely sort of berry purple um quite like yeah maroony wine shade um so yeah very very cool so as these colours are quite bright I'm gonna try to like do a look that will match so starting with the purple one I'm gonna because it's number one I will create a look to work with that. So with that in mind now let's go back to the Anastasia palette and see which ones might be good. So I put on that Dawn and for this purple mascara look I think I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Mercury again with my uh, fluffy M441 brush and I'm going to pop that on the crease 
and blend it out focusing it more whoa okay that is pigmented uh, focusing it more on the outer corner rather than like too much up in the crease right since we are doing this purple mascara what am I feeling I feel like I should have maybe considered this before but it's spontaneous guys um, so let me think I do quite like that all stars but I don't know if that's gonna clash I think that might be better for the maroon then we got rowdy I think rowdy might be quite good for the shade of this mascara it's more in line so let's use some of that so I'm gonna go with a little Morphe E18 brush take that dawn shade just to put on the lower lashes first to lay down a bit of a base and then I will go in with my little M431 Morphe tapered um, pencil brush I'm gonna go in with that shade rowdy and we are going to pop this I'm gonna pop this on the lower lashes then I'm gonna go in with that Morphe M441 brush again and go in to that purple dark purple rowdy shade going in with like so little here so little product and I'm popping that on the outer lower outer V of the eye Um. then with um, a little shadow brush I'm gonna go in with the M422 um, shadow brush I'm gonna go into that shade Dawn um, because I want to keep this look matte um, I'm liking how the mattness looks and I'm just gonna pop that on to the lid on the inner corner up to where we meet that blended shade. I also realised guys this is probably the most eye looks I've ever gonna have done in one video so I'll have to keep moving so that it's not too long. So this is the head, I've not tried this yet so hopefully it actually is the colour like true to itself and not just uh, like not pigmented enough. So let's see how this performs, this Kiko mascara. So I'm gonna pop this on my upper and lower lashes. Um, so this mascara is uh, spreading out the lashes quite nice the way it's combing through, I'm liking that. The color is definitely that purple shade, so it's quite true to the packaging, which I like. Um, it's not giving like tons and tons of volume, but so I feel like I'm gonna have to build this up, but it is spreading out nicely and it's definitely not clumpy. So guys, that is the number one mascara on um, with this eyeshadow look. Um, I really like how the purple colour definitely comes across as being purple, but it, because it is a deeper purple, it's not like, oh my goodness, like this crazy, crazy eye look. It's very much like it just looks really nice on the lashes and gives a little bit more like something different, but like not too different. Like I feel like you could definitely wear this every day and I feel like it's making my... Um, I just looked in the mirror there um, while I was looking down and I was like, oh yes, it's making my green eyes really pop that purple colour so I feel like my eyes look super green with the purple mascara so yeah, I really like this colour so first impressions of this it doesn't give lots of volume but it does give nice length separation and I really like the colour so definitely would be wearing this Okay guys, I did pick up a Kiko Urban Sheen Lip uh, Gloss Crayon and this is in shade number one and it's meant to be quite like hydrating as well so I picked this up and thought cool let's try their lip product as well so that's a little crayon again first impressions I haven't actually tried this does it have a twist okay it's not twisting so what happens when it runs out I'm not sure maybe you have to sharp no am I just I'm not it's not twisting but there's some product there so maybe it just pops up after so I'm just gonna put this in the lips and see how this is okay let's just swatch it on the back of my hand first of all okay so that's it swatched on the back of my hand it is very light pigmented like it's not really full coverage it's quite like a lip tinted lip balm that is the little urban sheen from Kiko it's just quite natural not that pigmented it's not like amazing I might give this like 2.5 out of 5 yeah I wouldn't feel like you need to rush out and buy this I'm not like overwhelmed with how good it is it's just like mm, average hey guys so I've taken off the last eye makeup look and I did take off that lip uh, crayon from um, yeah this uh, lip crayon from uh, Kiko I wasn't that impressed with it and I've changed it out for KKW um, shade Kim as I really like um, how that looks on the lips um, so now back in to the subculture palette. I'm going to actually do a look 
with uh, both of scars I'll do the blue and the uh, sort of turquoisey one together so I'm going to create a look um, that's using both of those so to start off with again I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M441 brush go in with that dawn shade it's a really good uh, transition color and just pop that on and for the eyelid I'm going to go in with the just move the little brush I'm going to go in with the shade electric um, so I'm just going to use my finger this is like the greeny metallic -y ones I'm going to pop this all over the lid um, so this um, eye makeup look will be quite a fun look so that is the shade electric all over the eyes I think just to bring a little bit more depth to this look I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 fluffy brush but into the shade Roxy which is like a peachy orange shade and I'm going to pop that in the outer corner and a little bit up into the crease so it's just got a little bit more something and then I will go in with my E18 Morphe brush with that shade Roxy and pop that on the lower lashes. So I'm going to go in on the top lashes with the Coco, um, sorry, Kiko uh, number 3 which is that teal colour. I'm going to pop that on the upper lashes on again same head um, as the other purple one. I'm going to pop this on the upper lashes and I'll pop the blue on the lower lashes. So guys, that is number three, uh, that Tilly uh, turquoise colour on the um, upper lashes. So you can just see it brings a little bit of a pop of colour to the eyes. Um, I'm going to go in now with the number two, which is the electric -y royal blue shade. Love, love, love this colour. So we're going to pop this on um, the lower lashes. The head again looks very similar to the other one. So let's pop this on. Oh wow, I love, love this blue colour. I like this. I could use this a lot in different colours, like different eye looks with this. And actually I think this would look even really nice with just a really simple uh, nudie eye shade and then pop it on the lower lashes and black on the top just to give a little something different. And guys, that is the uh, blue on the lower lashes. So yeah, it looks really nice and gives a little pop of something. I feel like out of the two looks so far, the first one was a little bit more, like not as summery, and this one is a really summery look. So yeah, I really, really like how this look uh, is looking, and yeah, definitely a fun sort of summer party or summer evening out, yeah, or when you're on holiday and you just wanna do something that's a little bit more fun and vibrant. So yeah, really, really like both of the mascaras that I just tried, really like those and very fun. And yeah, I'll get started with the next one, which is my final shade, which is this wine, winey colour. So um, I will take off uh, this eye look and come back to you. Okay. Guys, on to the final look, which is the number five, which is the Maroonie wine shade. I'm gonna go back in with Subculture, like I'd done before, Morphe M441, straight into that shade Dawn, and we're gonna pop that in the crease just to start everything off. Then I'm going to go into the shade Fudge, which is that uh, nice matte brown with the Morphe M441. This looks very pigmented, uh, first time using it, so just want to go with the light hand. And I'm going to pop that on the outer, outer V and then up into the crease, so we're bringing some more depth. So this look is going to be a more warm toned, bronzy look, so I'm going to go in with the shade Adorn. I'm going to go in just using my finger. Um, this lovely bronzy metallic. I'm going to pop that on the eyelid from inner corner up to meet um, that transition, um, that crease colour. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the M441. I'm going to go into that all star shade, that nice sort of purpley colour, as it reminds me of that maroon shade. And I'm going to pop this on the outer uh, corners just to basically bring in a little bit more of a purple feel. So for the lower lashes, I'm going in with my Morphe E18 brush and I'm thinking I'll go first of all in with the shade fudge and then I can build that up uh, if I want to. So I'm going in with that brown fudge and I will go in with the shade All Star, that purple shade again with that um, same E18 brush and I'm just going to go on top of where I put down that fudge shade just to keep it looking all consistent with the upper lashes. So for the mascara let's pop this on. 
presuming it's also going to be the same head as before. So yeah, it looks pretty similar. I'll pop this on the upper and lower lashes. So guys, that is the number five on the lashes. Um, it is really nice. Um, again, it's sort of making my eye uh, color pop. I realize the purple shades really bring out the green eye color, which I have, which is really cool. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on the uh, Kiko mascaras. I give them a three out of five. And the reason I give them that is because they don't give lots of volume, but they are really good for sort of a fun pop of color and they're not very expensive so I feel like if you want to add something to your makeup bag that's a little bit fun and a little bit different but not spending too much money I really recommend them for that if you want to be really volume lashes then that's not gonna be these mascaras so yeah that's why I'm giving them a three and I'm gonna give this actually like the more it was on my lips I'm gonna give this like a one out of five because I did not like the lip product um, so yeah, I hope you guys find this video interesting. It's a little bit different than my other videos where I've done like quite a few little looks uh, within one video. Do leave me a comment below if you've tried Kiko um, or also what you just think of these looks that I created. And yeah, do subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!